What's up guys, Paul here, and the craziest thing, uh, inside this dead PlayStation, I found a DMS3 mod chip. So I, I showed you it was a dead laser because the whole reason why I bought, I was buying like a ton of broken PlayStations and then fixing them, modding them and selling them and whatever, that stuff like that. And um, I was going through this one and as I took it apart, I was stripping it down. I was going to clean it, refurbish it, all that jazz. But I noticed this. And I noticed wires. And from modding a ton of PS2s, I know that typically you can see the wires through that little crack. So I knew right then, this was going to, like, this video originally was going to be like, uh, PS2, you know, refurbish, whatever. But I didn't know there was going to be a DMS3 inside. Here it is. Found it. Super excited because I didn't have this chip. And if you recently saw my PS2 video chip collection, whatever, uh, this chip is actually in there because I found this chip before I made that video. So now whatever I was doing to this PlayStation is completely done. It's like I'll, I'll fix it later because now it's, it's reviving and pulling this DMS3 out of this PlayStation and uh, cleaning up this whole PlayStation, getting rid of this mod entirely, make reverting it back to stock, and then I'll mod it with another chip later, keep this DMS3 for me. So, as you see, like the wire, now we're not here to talk about this person, whoever installed this, we're not here to talk about the job they did because, you know, we're adults and that doesn't really matter because we don't do that. So, uh, right now it's literally just going to be me removing it. And as you saw, there was like a lot of hot glue. So I don't know if anybody knows this, but a trick for removing hot glue for whatever reason, spray some isopropyl alcohol on it and it comes right up. My buddy Ernie told me that. Thank you, Ernie, because whatever I was doing before was a lot more difficult than this. Like just watch how easy little spray. Boom. It just comes right, right off. It's absolutely awesome. I don't know why that is, but it works. and It's great. Do you know why isopropyl alcohol takes hot glue off so easily? If you do, leave it in the comments. That would be awesome. But it does use that as a trick. So that was my first course of action with this was to uh, remove all of that with my handy dandy nifty tweezers that I love so much. And then after you know getting the hot glue off, just screw it and just snip the wires um, because we're gonna we're just, we're gonna remove this mod entirely in its entirety completely little bit more hot glue action just getting rid of it and it just comes right off so simply so what I'm gonna do in this video is, is like I said remove the chip and then I try to I clean up the chip getting all the old solder off of it I clean up the entire PlayStation board as you see just removing the wires but this was so exciting and I was like so happy that I had it like like filmed like I had it like I was filming this PlayStation for something different and then it just like this is what happened now um, this is a this is a way where I've actually acquired a good amount of these old mod chips like this is by doing a mod um, or buying broken lots uh, like a, a lot of like 10 broken ps2s whatever one of them might have a mod chip in it uh, it's, I don't know I found I found a bunch of different uh, variety of, of them this way so that's just really cool something to keep in mind you shouldn't go buying broken ps2s to hope to find one but it's just something to it's a possibility because this was a huge, huge market back in the day. And actually later on, I think I show like an old forum post about the DMS-3 from like 2003. Um, because it was, it was big back then where like everybody had their system. They were all chipped and they were like all debating like, why should I get this chip when like I have this chip and this chip works and that chip does like one extra thing. Like, and it was the same exact, like the way I view that is... A lot of people may look at it like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's people wanting to be informed about a product that they're purchasing. It's like, yeah, like I understand that, but it's like, I don't know, the way I view it in like our entire like gaming community is like people just nitpicking over like one product versus another, when in reality it's just video games, like it doesn't matter that much. I don't know why I'm that way. I don't know. I don't, that's how I see it. Maybe my, my perspective is skewed, but I, I'm talking too much about the article and like that's at the end of the video, so... Uh, I could go on about it. We'll see that later. But so here, what I'm doing, like I said, just removing the chip. Now here I have the chip, and I'm. I wanted to make it look like as stock as possible. I think I ended up posting a picture of it on Instagram, um, and that's like why I wanted it to look stock. I don't know. I wanted it to look stock anyway, or like as clean as possible. So I get all that, the old hot glue off of it, clean it up, 
and then like all this old solder so like all this old solder wouldn't have been good to like you like if i ever wanted to mo like install this chip into like another playstation i would have wanted to remove this solder anyway because it's all you know what like 2003 this chip came out so it's like all it's like 15 year old solder you know what i mean so by adding more solder and then adding flux and then removing the new solder that's how you get the old solder off the old solder that you know is dirty or whatever because it mixes with the new solder and then when you remove the new solder it pulls the old solder off um and that and that's that's how i do that well, that's what i do for that and then i think what ended up solder wick is like the perfect thing to use i think i went and i went to use the solder sucker to remove it and i was like wait a minute like this is a bad idea this isn't going to work that well and i realized i could just wipe a lot of the the bulk solder off just like that and then um solder wick it which is what i ended up doing after i swiped it all away i don't know i just wanted the chip to be fresh i wanted to give it like a not just restore the PlayStation, but also restore the chip. Try to get it like as new as possible. I clean up all the old flux on it and everything. So this chip, um, uh, I, I actually, when I looked it up and I found that article where everybody was complaining or whatever, uh, nitpicking, it actually listed the specs. And I didn't even look at the specs. I think I just burnt my finger right there. Yeah, got some, got some, touch some hot solder. Yeah, don't do that. Don't touch hot balls of solder when they fall on your desk. So here we go, here's the solder wick. The solder wick actually worked the absolute best and that's what made this have a nice appeal um, to it. So what solder wick is, is it's a, it's a braid of copper strand that has flux on it. So when you heat it up and apply it to solder, the solder transfers to the copper um, because copper, that's what solder sticks to. So it transfers to that and essentially removing the solder. Uh, cheap solder braid doesn't really work or if it's like old solder braid where it's like kind of dried up it doesn't really work that well so adding a little bit of flux could help with that or just getting brand new braid like quality braid solder braid i never really used it because the solder braid i had was so old and, and dried up so so now after that chip is nice and fresh here we go with the i'm removing everything on the rest of the board to make that uh to to restore the playstation itself I think I ended up uh, completely just removing the mod, throwing in a fresh laser in it, and, and it was boom, done. It was ready to go. It was very simple it's for, for this repair. So now what I'm about to do, oop, more solder braid. See how well that works? Just put a little bit over, heat it up. The solder sticks, sticks to the braid, add some flux. Oh, okay, here's where I want to show you the article. So it was actually, it's funny, it's an article on IGN. The third, the new third generation PS2 mod chip DMS3 is now available, which is the best mod chip available. February 17th, 2003. So that's like when this was like popping off and like that's when this was happening. And I don't know, I just, seeing this for, or, or the first link on the forum was actually um, explaining what the chip does. Region free backups, just like all the rest, uh, essentially with some extra features. And, but the forum post was just a lot of people like, is it really worth it? Is it like, why should I get this instead of this? And I, I don't know. I just see like a lot of this in gaming to this day. And I don't know, like if you want something, just get it. Like who cares? Like why is everybody, I don't know. I've never felt the need to have something be, be the best. Like it doesn't really matter. It's just about like whatever makes you happy. Cause like these are all, they're just like possessions. Like they don't actually matter. So to put so much time to like post on a forum and find out which one was better. I don't know. I don't understand it. But to me, it was just really funny to see. I don't think, I don't know if anybody else would see why I find that funny or see how I understand that. But I don't know. I felt like it was worth pointing out. I don't know, but it is cool to see like, hey, 15 year old mod chip. There was a forum post about it, about people going back and forth, whether or not they should get it. For, I don't know, that's cool to see. Because these a lot of these chips, they're long and they're forgotten. So, I don't really know what the point of this video was. I just thought it was really, really exciting. I just wanted to make a video about finding it because it was cool that I had it filmed. And I don't think there was anything informative in this video or helpful to anybody. I did talk a little bit about Satterbraid. 
But anyway, this wasn't the video I was going to make today. Is I actually found this footage and completely forgot that I had this footage and was like, yes, like this is what I'm doing. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Thanks for going and checking out all my other videos and all the stuff like that. I've made a lot of videos, so when you guys go back and watch all my old ones, because I feel there are some, some good ones that... Uh, I don't know if got as much attention as the other ones, so I, it means a lot when you guys go and check those out. So thank you all very, very much, and I'll see you next time.